tried to put us down Talking about my generation Just because we get around Talking about my generation <laughs> Are you crazy? I would never do that with my guitar. Okay, obviously today I'm ranking the Who albums. The Who, one of the best rock album, uh, one of the best rock bands of all time. First mod band, and they were the richest Vandal rock band too. Okay, so the Who released twelve album. Yes, I'm talking about twelve official studio albums. So, which means that I'm not including uh, compilations like Odds and Suds, Magic Bus, or I'm not including any live albums like Live at least. It's just basically uh, their 12 official studio albums. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. At number 12 is their newest album, uh, simply called Who. And I don't know in the future if the Who are going to release another new album you know because the two survival members are 74 or 75 years old but anyway if they do release a new album in the future i will mention that you know in the comments section below so at number 12 is ooh uh, not a not such a bad album you know but not their best of course uh, but i still like a couple a few songs <laughs> all this music must fade the ball and chain hero ground zero street song uh, probably my favorite songs from the album so ooh, at number 12. okay at number 11 uh, is it's hard and once again not such a bad album but not their best uh, really like the opening track Athena uh one at a time uh, and why did i fall for that uh, which sounds like a sort of unusual <laughs> song for the who so these three songs are probably my favorite uh also really like it's your turn so it's our at number 11. okay let's continue at number 10. Uh, this might be a surprising choice uh i guess Probably many of you would rank the album a little bit higher, but uh, I put Who Are You, yes, <laughs> which is definitely uh, my least favorite Who album with Keith Moon in the lineup. It's number 10. Uh, really like the title track, Who Are You, uh, 905, Sister Disco, and Trick of the Light, um, my favorite songs from the album. So, Who Are You at number 10. Okay, let's continue at number nine. Uh, this is maybe or probably too much. I, for many of you, but the album high pick is Endless Wire. And The Who really is uh, many albums better than this album, but I think it's a bit underrated, you know. Uh, uh, really like Mike Post him 2000 years, but my favorite songs are the songs from the Wire and Glass uh, Mini Opera. You know, songs like uh, Pick Up the Piece, uh, one of my favorites from the album, uh, the title track, Endless Wire, uh, We Got a Hit, uh, Mirror Door. Uh, so, as I said, I'm not saying that this is a great album but uh, i think it's a bit underrated and that's why i put this album at number nine so endless wire at number nine okay let's continue at number eight is face dances uh, first album uh, released with uh, their new drummer kenny jones and of course at this point you know the the sound of the who uh, really changed but i think it's a pretty nice one and of course we have those hits uh, you better you bet um, let don't let go the coat but other than that uh, i would say my favorite songs are uh, cash cash uh, and my four probably my four favorite songs from the album are the quiet one really like that song uh, you uh, how can you do it alone and another tricky day so face dances at number eight 
Okay, number seven for me is the U by Numbers. Uh, pretty nice album, but I especially like or love, you know, the songs from the side one. Songs like uh, Squeeze Box, uh, Dreaming from the Waste and Imagine a Man, my two favorite songs from the album. Uh, However Much I Boo, Success Story, uh, good album. So the U by Numbers at number seven. Okay, this is the critical moment. Uh, I think this is going to be a very controversial choice. But I assure you, I like the album. Uh, I think most of the people would put this album in their top five. And maybe for some of you, this could be their favorite album. But the album in question is Quadrophenia. No, 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 please, no, Jeff, no, stop it, no, Jeff, 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 no, please stop. Okay, let me tell you about this inside joke. Uh, first of all, Jeff, also known as Calico Silver, is one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, and this is one of his favorite rock albums of all time, or maybe his favorite rock albums of all time. But as I said, and I swear I like the album. I know that many of you probably swear in a different way, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because I put this album at number six. But, you know, there, there are many good songs. This is a great concept. And, you know, I love rain, uh, love, rain, love, love rain over me. Sea <laughs> uh, and Sun, great song. Uh, the Punk and the Godfather, and uh, what else? Uh, I've had enough. Uh, many good songs, you know, 515. But the thing is, there are five U albums that I love better than this one. So the U Quadrophenia, yes, it's true, at number six. Okay, number five for me is an album from the 60s. A quick one. Now, of course, an album like Quadrophenia is something more mature, more ambitious uh, than a quick one. But I always love uh, the quick, a quick one. You know, for uh, for the humor of songs like Boris the Spider uh, or the insanity or sort of insanity of songs like Whiskey Man. I uh, also really like uh, this mini rock opera, a quick one while he's away. Uh, what else? Uh, run, run, run. Uh, you know, many good songs. And it's number five on my list. And the US version that I love better than the UK, because the US version, uh, which is called Happy Jack, includes the song Happy Jack. So I like the US version a little bit higher. And the U.S. version could be almost number four, but let's say that at the moment both version, U.S. or U.K. version, would be number five in my ranking at the moment. Okay, let's continue. So, at number four for me is uh, the concept album, Tommy, uh, great concept love the way the songs are connected together and I love most of the songs uh, of course uh, I love uh, Pinball Wizard, Tommy Can You Hear Me uh, what else, uh, We're Not Gonna Take It which includes See Me Feel Me uh, uh, Overture which includes uh, It's A Boy and I really like, I love the lyrics of uh, the Acid Queen and uh, Cousin uh, Kevin, so pretty good and classic album, uh, Tommy at number four. Okay, number three. Uh, I don't know if, you, if this is going to be controversial choice, maybe not, but I think mo most of the people anyway would put this album at number one, and I'm talking about Who's next? Uh, yes, but I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear that I really like, I love the album. You know, you know, two 
of my favorite Wu songs appear on this album. I mean, Behind Blue Eyes won't get full again. Two top 10 Wu songs for me. Uh, Baba O'Reilly is pretty good. Bargain, Love Ain't For Keeping. Another classic Wu album, but this is number three on my list. Who's next at number three? Okay, let's continue at number two for me. Is their first debut album called My Generation. And I, I think the Who were uh, ahead of their time, you know, with this album. I mean, if you listen to the sound, I mean, this was something pretty heavy, you know, for 1965. And I think uh, the melodies are pretty strong. Uh, and I'm talking about songs like, uh, the, first of all, we have the title track, My Generation, great classic, The Kids Are All Right, I Love the Melody, uh, many other great songs, I Love the Goods Gone, La 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 Lies, <laughs> Much Too Much, uh, It's Not True, A Legal Matter, but, uh, you know, just like uh, a quick one, uh, I think, uh, no, I don't think, but I like or I love the U.S. version the Who sings uh, My Generation a bit better than the original UK version because the the U.S. version includes Instant Party, which is a better song in my opinion than I'm a Man. But anyway, uh, it doesn't change anything, uh, you know, for my ranking in both cases. The Who Sings My Generation or My Generation. Uh, the album is number two in my ranking. Now let's go for number one. Uh, and this was, let me tell you that this was such an easy choice for me. Uh, this album is one of my favorite rock albums of all times. Uh, this is a psychedelic, Mr. Uh, psychedelic masterpiece. And this was their first concept album, and I'm talking about Sellout, or the Oops Sellout. You know, great album, and I love, you know, the Heidi of those fake commercials between each and every song. And I love the album from start to finish, great melodies, I love those sound effects. You know, like uh, Armenia, City in the Sky, uh, Mary Hand with the Shaky Hand, uh, Tattoo my favorite Who song of all time, uh, what else, uh, Our Love Was, uh, Relax, Real, uh, I Can't Reach You, great from start to finish, and this is my favorite Who album, so the Who sell out at number one. So that was it for my ranking, I hope that you enjoyed, and I'd like to know what is your personal ranking, how would you rank? the Ooh albums. So thanks for watching and see you for my next video. Bye-bye.